I'm editing it right now. Um, don't judge me. I'm watching my sheets. So, yeah, that's why there's nothing on the bed. Um, I just wanted to apologize ahead of time for the loud ass refrigerator humming in the background. Um, so yeah, that's there. Sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about it now. So, enjoy the video. And my mouth is gold. Shorty says she like my teeth okay forever ever. You would never tell a lie, bitch, forever ever. I'm getting to this ride. What's up, face fam? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How you doing? How you been? So, uh, before we get started, go ahead and check out the links in my description box that will connect you to black owned businesses that you can buy from to buy a multitude and a variety of different things that you can use in your everyday life. And since you're down there in the area, you might as well um like and subscribe, you know, now. And you could also click the bell to turn on the notifications so you can be notified next time I post a video. So yeah, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title what I'm doing in today's video. I will be blow drying my hair um now this is a video that i have been contemplating on doing for a long time and this video i actually will be using hair care products from a black owned brand that i found on instagram the other day um it is called honey made what is it honey's made i'm sorry it's called honey's made and this is what the box is like. They got their little own tape and everything. Let me show y'all what I got from them, even though I might not use all of this stuff, but I'm still gonna show y'all what I got because I'm excited. Focus there, bud. So this is the shampoo. It is honey cleansing buttermilk shampoo. It has cast out soap, honey, buttermilk, Tacoma, olive, and does that say Shea Island? Shea Island? I don't know, okay but i want to try it because i just want to try it. and then i have this it is oh honey and kokum moisture replenishing hair mask and this has the silk water shea butter kokum beeswax mumaru castor babasu olive squalene coconuts coconut cocoa seed butter almond kupu what kupau ku and raw honey and then I have this, which is jojoba and avocado strawberry champagne hair lotion. I'm not sure what hair lotion is for, but it's summertime. Well, it's about to be summertime and I don't want to be using a uh, Jamaican black castor oil and shea butter all summer just because it's too heavy. So I want to get something a little bit lighter. And this has distilled water jojoba, shea olein, honey quah, avocado, grapeseed, cherry kernel, cranberry seed, glycerin, cocoa, organic beeswax. And yeah, I'm gonna use this today actually to blow dry my hair just because this is how it works. Hair lotion is the best applies to damp hair before blow drying. So I'm gonna use it for that. Um, I'm also use it as a leave-in though because I'm pretty sure you can use it as a leave-in as well yeah because right here it says this dialer can be used as a last step when using the loc method so that's what i'm using that for come on focus i'm gonna use this african pride pre-shampoo just because i don't feel like cutting open a whole aloe vera leaf right now oh something just fell i don't know what it was this is what my hair looks like right now and this is uh basically a twist out from the twists that my hair was in when i did my um jumbo short faux locks so this is what that looks like so when i'm done splitting my hair in four sections i'm just going to start with the pre-shampoo and then i'm going to wash my hair with the shampoo that i showed y'all
said I was gonna use the Honey's Made uh, moisturizing mask, but after using the shampoo, my hair was like very moisturized and very soft, and I didn't want to go in with another superizing, superizing, super. I didn't want to go in with another super moisturizing product and then give myself like a little bit of moisture overload So instead I did go in with my uh, Shea Moisture Manuka and Honey Protein Power Treatment Conditioner thing Um just to balance it out Actually let's see what this feels like Oh it's actually not that thin And it's like I can feel feel that is very moisturizing it's a lot of oil in here so i can understand why you would put this on before you um blow dry your hair because it's a very moisturizing product like right now my fingertips feel super moisturized and i just wash my hair so my other fingers are dry and these two fingers are super moisturized now i didn't really um detangle my hair i kind of just washed it and let it do what it do so this is what it looks like Right now, you can see that the curls is sh sh popping because I used the protein conditioner. If I didn't, my hair would be like a lot more uh, frizzy right now. So I got my sections and then I'm gonna go in with my Honey's Made Hair Lotion. I don't know how much I should use. I'm gonna use this much. And then I'll see if I need some more.
uh, I'm finally done. And I'm hot, and my butt hurt, and my armpits are sweating. But it's okay. Cause I'm done. So yeah, um, midway through, my camera died. So I didn't get like the full thing, but I mean, you guys saw how I did it. So that's basically just what I did to the rest of my hair. And then I kind of went into the roots to get some more, you know, skid a little bit. My roots are honestly still a little bit damp, to be honest, cause my hair is so thick, bro. Like that's why I don't, huh. <sighs> Like this is really why I don't blow out my hair because it's so thick. And even when you have a product like this that's supposed to make it easier, it still takes like two hours if I really want it to be like blown out. Yeah, Um. where is this dog on? Woo! Things are falling. So this shit, what is that? That's weird. So this shampoo, the honey's, uh, honey's handmade shampoo this is legit um you definitely need to buy this i will put the link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself because like it it was a mixture in between a, a cleansing clarifying shampoo and then a moisturizing shampoo and it really did a good job in cleaning my hair and my hair was like yikes because i have been doing my oil challenges so i had oil in it i had shea butter in it i had all these things in my hair and my hair was like disgusting and this really did a good job in cleaning it and also keeping my hair really moisturized and then as far as the jojoba avocado strawberry champagne hair lotion this did a really good job in like keeping my hair moisturized too because my hair still feels like really soft right now. It doesn't feel rough and jagged or anything like that. I mean, the ends, you know, that's a whole nother story because they need to be trimmed. But yeah, my hair feels really soft. It feels really good. And I think you guys should definitely check out this brand because so far it's been good to me. Okay, it's been good to me. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, In this video, I was just blowing out my hair, but my camera died. But you know, I still got some footage of me blowing out my hair. And this is the result of me blowing out my hair. That's the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also click that notification bell so you can be notified next time I post a video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Talking about all the times and shit's the same to me. Yeah. But this is for all them times where all the bitches flaked on me. Flaked on a bitch, bread in a basket. Hey.